I have acted in a way that violates my obligations to my family. Three months after New York Governor Elliot Spitzer stepped down when he became ensnared in a call girl scandal, the escort service at the center of his downfall is back in the spotlight. 62-year-old Mark Brenner, the operator of the Emperor's Club, the escort service that allegedly had Spitzer as client number nine, has pleaded guilty to conspiracy charges. In a deal with prosecutors, Brenner will likely serve two years in prison or a bit more. He recognizes the wrong that he's, he's done and he, he stepped up to the plate took the responsibility, and he will be uh, sentenced accordingly. Spitzer has not been charged in the case, but there's an ongoing investigation, one that could lead to charges stemming from his rendezvous with this woman, who authorities say worked for the Emperor's Club and went by the name of Kristen. Authorities say they monitored Spitzer's meeting with her, listened in on his phone calls, and monitored his bank records. One legal expert says Spitzer's biggest risk is getting charged with violating bank secrecy laws. They'd have to be considering whether or not they want to actually charge him with violations of the Mann Act. Uh, those are very, very rare, extremely infrequent prosecutions. And it's going to look like they're singling him out uh, just because of his prominence. The judge asked if this was a cooperation agreement. Brenner's attorney says he doesn't believe the 62-year-old knew Spitzer may have been a client of the Emperor's Club, but prosecutors describe Brenner as the head of the operation who recruited prostitutes and decided how to market them to clients. He's the third of four defendants to plead guilty in the case. A week ago, his former girlfriend, 23-year-old Cecil Suwal, pleaded guilty to conspiracy. Carlotta Bradley, The Associated Press.